Now we come into the end of spring and just nudging into the beginning of summer. It's a cracking time of year. The beauty of the Forsythia's golden flowers is just over. And of course, instead of the flowering now, it's putting all the energy into new growth. And if you've ever thought of having a plant that's quite low maintenance, I'm going to give this one a trim. But, you know, if you had an area at the back of the garden, you could just let it go. Or if you wanted to grow it as a hedge, it makes a really nice flowering hedge as well. But if you went out to buy one, you'd probably spend, what's this one here, £13 for a good specimen. It's quite good value for money for a plant that you're going to have for years and years. But they're so easy to propagate from cuttings, you might want to give that a go. So if you've got a friend, neighbour, member of the family that's got one of these, it's perfect to take cuttings. You know, something that you've taken a cutting from yourself, and introduced and grown a brand new plant is an incredibly special feeling. You become connected to that plant and it's great fun in seeing it root and grow at the same time. Now, on your plant, there's different times of year you can take different types of cutting really. You know, during the, uh, during the end of spring, you get this very young growth here and uh, uh, we call it just softwood really because it feels quite soft. I'm just going to cut that from the plant and that's what you've got. Just a little soft area i'm going to remove some of the lower leaves and then at a little joint between the where the leaf used to be there's a slight swelling we call it a node i cut at an angle there dip that into rooting hormone and then put it into peat free compost in about three weeks you'll start to see the thing root now if you were to wait later on so later summer time uh, these soft uh, uh, branches here have become you know a little bit stiffer we call them semi-ripe so they would be, it's difficult to show you here because obviously this is springtime, but you get a bit more of a bend, but they're, they're, um, they're not as soft. And what you do is take the same type of cutting, about four to six inches, something similar to that, cut through a node, remove the lower branches, insert in rooting hormone compound, and then put them into pots and containers in the greenhouse. And they do take longer time to root uh, and establish because it's a little bit later on in the season. Or during the winter time, you can actually take hardwood cuttings. So that's late autumn into the winter. And the hardwood cuttings, where a lot of these soft branches here would have turned into, as you can see here, a uh, 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 thicker, harder wood. You never want a cutting bigger than the thickness of the pencil, really. And you do the similar thing you could cut. I don't know if you were doing this as a hardwood cutting. I'll just show you here now. You would be able to take some of the side branches off and do cuttings very similar to that and you'd be effectively using not this time of year but obviously during the winter time you can take cuttings uh, uh, from that to root and you can do it in a couple of ways you can either you dip it into, into rooting hormone powder and then put it into pots or you can push it straight into the ground the secret is you're never going to be quite sure how many of them root so if you're after just one or two plants take about 10 cuttings you know if you get great results and all of them root you can give them to friends and family so propagating is really easy and you should just give it a go because the fun to see it root. You know, if I can root them just in a glass of water uh, late spring, uh, if you take them at their proper time of year, softwood cutting, cuttings into compost, semi right towards the end of the uh, summer period or hardwood during the autumn winter months, you can propagate loads of your favourite plants and save yourself an absolute fortune. If you like this video, please give it a like and share with your friends and family. Remember to subscribe for more content like this and switch on notifications to be notified of my latest videos.